The Windows 10 taskbar is incredibly useful, but not everyone knows how to fully utilize it. Before I lay out the keyboard shortcuts to that taskbar, it helps to show what the different areas of the taskbar are. First is the start menu on the left, followed by search, Cortana, and task view. These are often hidden. Then there are your pin programs, and on the far right is the notification area, which contains the overflow, system icons, action center, and show hide desktop. To access the start menu, press the Windows key. To access the power start menu, Windows key plus X. Windows key plus S will access the search option on your screen. Windows key plus C will access Cortana in listening mode for when you are using voice commands on your computer. Windows key plus tab will allow you to cycle between any open applications. You can also on this screen close any open applications by clicking on the X for that particular app. One of the fastest ways to navigate pinned apps on the taskbar is by holding down the Windows key and pressing T. You can see a white box will appear around your first icon. Now the first one is number one, number two, three, four, five, all the way up to zero, which is number 10. Now, as soon as you press enter on any of these, it will open up the app. If you're cycling between them, as you can see here, if you press escape, that automatically exits you out of the selection mode. If you press Windows key and one, it will open up the first app in your list. Windows key and say, for example, five will open up the fifth application in your pinned list. Another option that you have is if you open up shift windows and the number such as five or shift number two, it will open up another instance of that particular application. If you press and hold down control shift windows and say, for example, five, which is my command prompt, that will automatically launch the app in an administrative mode. And you can see from the heading of this particular window, the command prompt is open in admin mode, whereas on these ones, it is not. Your Windows key plus B will take you into the notification area. And when you use your arrow keys, you can rotate between them. And if you press enter, say for example, you're in the overflow and you press enter, you'll see all your overflow icons, which you can also rotate using the arrow keys on your keyboard. But here's a quick mouse shortcut I'll add to, to this list. When you're in your overflow, if say for example, you want your antivirus to be there, you can actually drag the icon right from there into the active area so it will always stay pinned. Or if you don't want something there, you can simply drag it into the overflow to hide that icon again. The last key combination for the taskbar is the Windows key and A, which will open up your action center, which is this call out on the far right of your screen. Hopefully these commands will help you utilize your keyboard a little bit more efficiently under Windows 10.